Look, bro, we got another court video, and with these videos, you know what I'm saying? First off, let me take you back real quick. If y'all live in Vegas, if y'all plan on coming to Vegas, and y'all blow a tree, oh, ghost, what you be blowing on with you, boo I'm telling y'all right now, man. Y'all get out here, get on your Google Maps, your little tree maps, whatever the case, and go to Thrive Cannabis Shop, and they got the best tree in the city. No lie. Not saying that because I spoke, you know what I'm saying? Thrive really the best, man. Y'all see the logo, get in the strips, and get up there, go out there, go get your smoke on. But anyway, with these court videos, I like doing them, you know what I'm saying? And y'all like when I do them. So I decided to go ahead and grab another one. And when I grab them, bro, it's like a hit and miss with me. Because I ain't going to lie. Some of them I do. Because look, this is how I get out on the channel. I'm not finna watch the video and then go, oh, I like this. Let me react to it. I don't get out like that, bro. If I see the video, I'm going to go ahead and snatch it, then react to it live, and then put it on the channel. But sometimes when I do that, I get some BS videos, some whack videos, and I react to it this whole time and not even end up putting it on the channel. Because like I said, y'all come in here every day to mess with me. Y'all the reason why my channel popping. Y'all the reason I'm popping, period. So, the least I could do is, you know what I'm saying? Give out, put out the best content I can. That's what I try to do. But today, man, we got one right here. Like I said, I ain't seen it. So, this might be one of them hidden misses. If not, y'all gonna see it on the channel in the morning. <coughs> this old boy. Anyway, this is just Joe Brown. Let's go. I didn't go to Vegas to party. Well, what'd you go there for? Gamble? That's none of your business. Well, oh, yes, it is. Uh, uh, that'll be a $50, $100 uh, assessment for him. Hold on, let's take this back. Because I thought it was going to be an intro to this. Ain't no intro to this one. I'm not going to take it back. I didn't go to Vegas to party. Well, what'd you go there for? Gamble? That's none of your business. Well, oh, yes, it All is. Right. Uh, that'll be a $50, uh, $100 assessment for impertinence. For impertinence. Judge Joe Brown. If y'all don't know about him, he from the hood, you know what I'm saying? And I respect what he do. But at the same time, when you look at old boy, he asked him what he was doing up in Vegas. That's not none of the judge business at all. For him to go ahead and put that little thing on there, it's because he felt some type of way about it. I'm being 100. When you up in court, bro, you still got your rights. You don't have to go up in court and lay down everything you're doing. If it ain't got nothing to do with the case, if it's not your business, it's not your business. He felt some type of way by giving him that $100 assessment. I'm the been through it before. Now, you want to get cute with me? You want to tell me the truth? <laughs> you, you, being, you being real cute. <laughs> That's another $100 assessment. Come on. That's another $100 assessment. The judge first said, you want to be cute with me. All he said back was what the judge said to him. No, you being real cute. That's another $100 assessment. You don't disrespect the man. Now, you're going to get that shit back. And no matter what kind of position somebody in, they could be right there with their whole life on the line about to do life in the pen, bro. Most real men that stand up, guys, we don't care what this is. We're not going to let you talk to us any kind of way. And that's the way he feel. Then he going to hit it with another hundred old oh boy up in his feelings I right now. I suggest you See, stop before I bust this, you man. badly, son. Don't nothing. disappoint your exactly. mother. Exactly. Him. Oh, you want to be like that? Exactly. Bring the witness in. Yeah, bring a witness. <laughs> I know I keep, look, look what he said, though. I'll keep pausing him, but he's talking about we going to bust you up and this and that. Like, bro, you ain't going to bust nothing. I feel him. I know some of y'all probably like, but he up in court, this and that. That don't matter, bro. You can't talk to nobody like that. Straight up. At least yeah, bust. Don't nothing. disappoint your mother. <laughs> talking to. Oh, you want to be like that? Bring the witness in. Yeah, bring a witness. Hold on. And the only reason why he didn't hit him with another $100 assessment for being irate up in court because he know he can't keep doing this. Freedom of speech. As long as I'm not threatening you, I can say what I wanted. I'm already not liking it. Now, swear the witness in, please, Madam Sonia, if you would. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Quiet. <laughs> okay, old boy clowning there, everyone. Let me take this back. He see the old boy walk in like, that laugh, man, I can't believe this dude snitching on me. <laughs> Straight up. It wasn't, look, he didn't say no joke. He didn't say nothing funny, do nothing funny. Then, ah. He seen him and just start, look, y'all niggas really up here I'll snitching on you. me. Do you promise to tell the truth in all matters before this court? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Young man, please state your full name for the record. Uh, William Winston. Are you acquainted with the two individuals to your left? Yes, sir. Are you acquainted with the young man on the far left? Yes, sir. Where do you know him from? 
uh, Linwood. All right, now, are you familiar with the subject matter of this proceeding? Yes, sir. Now, do you have anything to add to this? See, them immature ways, like, oh boy, like I said in the beginning, you can't be talked to like that. If you're going to act like a man and say, bro, you can't be saying this and that and that and this, all these kind of assessments, you can't be sitting right there dying laughing, just leaning over, smirking. <laughs> you got your little point now. Now this is real life ahead of you, bro. Now he handling it like a little boy. I was in the car with him. Who's him? Uh, Brandon. When, when, we left, <laughs> when we left the motorcycle club. Yeah, that's, that's immature where right there. Where were you guys? <laughs> um, I believe it's like Bradondo. Okay. What's the name of the club? Cali. Uh, Red the motorcycle club. Yes, sir. Go ahead. When we left the motorcycle club, I got in the car with Antonio. All right. I left. We got in the car. We left. I asked him if he could take me home. I stopped, and then I, uh, I asked Brandon if he can take me home. So Brandon was going to take me to my house. So uh, I got out the car with Antonio. I don't care in no kind of way, shape, or form, bro. If ain't nobody really lost their life, if ain't nobody really got hurt, I do not see myself... It, well, they probably ain't no gays. I, I, I can't be snitching on the homie like this over no ride home or whatever the case. You got the mama involved. You got him involved. I mean, they don't even look like they want to be there. And after this, bro, no matter what happened, these two dudes right here, no matter how small the situation is, everybody going to know they're a snitch and they on TV with it. Right now, ain't nobody messing with them, bro. We reacted to it. It's, it made Judge Joe Brown. Nobody messing with these dudes. When I get up in a car with Brandon, he driving real fast, speeding on the wrong side of the street. When we get on Imperial, I'm telling them, like, slow down because there ain't no airbags in the back seat. The passenger, the passenger that was in the car with us, uh, I don't believe he had on no seatbelt, so I was in the back seat and uh, he, he, uh, he didn't want to stop, he didn't want to stop uh, speeding. So when we get to Imperial and Broadway, um, Antonio, yeah, he, like got, he, told, he made a right on, um, onto Broadway and then made a, got in the turning lane to make that left and go back up Imperial. But Brandon, it was a red light. It was a red light on Broadway and Imperial. So Brandon, he, he like swung, he swung lanes and got in a turning lane and ran the red light. And that's when he struck his car, struck Antonio's car. I'm totally. All right, now after the accident, <laughs> did you notice what this young man and the other person were doing or you were doing? Yeah, uh, the, car, the car stopped in the middle of uh, Imperial and Broadway. They, we, got, we got out the car, looked at the car. The car was totaled. The rental was totaled. Um, Brandon told the passenger to uh, look in the car for the um, look in the car for the liquor that was in the car or whatever. The, uh, he um, called his mom. He told his cousin that he was gonna call his mom. This dude right here, bro. I, 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 it's kind of hard for me to keep up with this to the fact that it's kind of getting boring. Uh, 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 uh. Basically, bro. They ran the car, no matter who was up in there drinking, who was driving, the rental car actually don't care, bro. Y'all wrecked our car, we want the bread. Oh, we didn't do it, it was his fault. Well, it don't matter. Y'all go to court, we, we want the bread, straight up. That's what it looked like it's happening. And tell his mom that, his, that the rental got stolen. But then we was thinking, like, why you gonna tell your mama that your rental got stolen and you, your fingerprints was the last ones on the car? So his, one, of his friends, his, one of his friends pulled up, he jumped in the car with his friend, told his mama the little, the little situation. And I guess that's how they made the uh, police report about the stolen car. But the whole time the car wasn't stolen. <laughs> we'll be back with more Judge Joe Brown. Hey, we gonna work you. We gonna work you. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? We told up the car. And that's what happened, bro. It was a real dis... <laughs> he ain't trying to pay for it. Straight up. <laughs> Seem to have a considerable history with rental vehicles <coughs> that you've wrecked. Um, excuse me, sir. Can I speak? Oh, oh, might clear it up. We getting a little proper, Sir, huh? What doesn't make sense to me is this. If there was an accident that occurred, why weren't the police notified? They were. When? I have the report right here. That's Other the report that, you made. No, not at you all. You lied. It was made <laughs> the night we were questioning. The night mm -hmm. in question. You don't want to hear what I'm talking about. Yeah, well, how it. is it that you were at the same club they were at, the vehicle your mother rented, got ripped off from that club and it just happened to strike why are you still laughing bro you ain't got no kind of defense your mama sitting there with her head down because she know you lying you just got washed up basically he wrecked the car then he ran from the car told the police that somebody stole the car that he rented or his mama rented 
And he tried this 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 dude, man, I thought he was stand up nigga at I first, feel. you know what I'm saying? I have no clue. What's Cause what? you're lying. I'm not lying about you. You lying, bro. You're lying. I have all my You're evidence. lying. You don't want to listen you to it. Lying. Don't you think the dope trial to break you not you're not, not going to sit here this and not be quiet. Me to it's in my case, you're not going to do that. Now you keep it up. get my point You keep it up. You don't have a point because the deeper you get into it, the more you get deep into a perjury charge. You won't be walking too far without a warrant for your arrest. There's also an ongoing investigation for a felony. And those is true facts, bro. Those is true facts. If judge, look, if Joe Brown wanted to really be mad, like, really be a, hey, you know what? He can call him up in here right now, like, uh, bring some officers up in here. He did a hit and run, felony hit and run, whoop de whoop whoop. Then he made a false police report to say he was stolen, bro. You supposed to be locked up for that right now. Then you come, I wouldn't even came to court for this case. What? I would have paid the money. You got enough to bust you right here. Exactly. Right, though, just be fair. Just That's be all fair. Not your <laughs> Look, now he see like, oh yeah, he right. Just be fair. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Did, did I, might, I might go to jail right now. Bet you any kind of money you shut up now. I am a man. Oh, you, you're not. You got your hands in your pockets. Yeah, with my body thumbs language. Out, you know what that means? The you know what that means? I know what my body me. language is saying. I would oh. enlighten you and banish some of your ignorance. Now your mother deals with probationers, parolees, and she's listening look, to you. Look, look, the like, whole time. Rewind this video right now and pay attention to the mama. She like this the whole time. Can't believe her son got her in this. Judge Joe Brown, look, your mom. She deal with parolees and people on probation, bro. You got her up here. You know she 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 she, she shouldn't even went up there. That's blemishing her whole image. All because you want to be up there lying, bro. If you knew you did, I wouldn't even go to court unless my life was on the line. I'm not finna lie about it, get away, then go to court over a misdemeanor hit and run. That I know I lied. Man, I'm finna pay this. And I know it was on my mama's shit. I'm not even finna do my mama like that, bro. He's a sour over here. I'm even looking you. at you because she, she's she listening no to your tone. She can sit down. And you can by talk the to way, me. been having problems before. Your mother is disappointed. She can't sit down and talk to you because, bro, I can't believe he just said, she can sit down. You can talk to me. Nah, she was trying to be a good mom. You know what I'm saying? Most likely, you ain't got no license. That's why you ran from the car. Most likely, you ain't got no license. That's why she rented the car for you. And since the car crashed and got damaged and totaled another car with a rental agency, she got to be up there because her name is on the paperwork. What you mean she can sit down? She can't sit down, bro. She up there because her son got her in this mix, nigga. With you. You're 24. How old are you? 24 years old. You ought to be doing something. Sitting up in here trifling and carrying on like you lost your trifling. mind instead uh, of being a man. Watch your mouth, man. You, how's it? My he mouth? called me out of my name, but I can't speak to him how I want. Bro, I'll jack that? you up. What's happening? One that? way or the other. What, what look, happened? Look, fool. Look, don't... All right, bro. You asking to go to jail. <laughs> you, you, bro, you not locked up right now. Like he said, only somebody that dumb. For the judge to tell him in their face, bro, we can lock you up for this, that, and the third, and you know he not playing. If you really think about it, oh, yeah, I did do this. He can lock me up. I would not tell a judge, what's happening then? What's up? Whoa, 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 whoa. Long as he not disrespecting me, bro. I'm not finna come back with the man. This Don't this, even go there. This is dumb. Uh, look, look, you first your mother's mission is a sworn official. I'm thinking of sending this case to the DA. I didn't do with that. With a letter. Do. I'm leaving. No, you ain't. Oh, whoa, another oh. hundred. I tell you what, I'm sending it. Send it. Yeah. You got all my information, and you, you right here. Excuse me. Under arrest, threats, 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 threats. Yeah. You cannot tell nobody you know what it is. You going We look like I told y'all before, bro. The two dudes in the front, they knew what's up when they went to court. They can't go back to the hood. They niggas straight from L.A. All the little blocks they name, oh boy, they, they straight from L.A. But for a boy to walk out of there, oh, you know what it is. That's straight. You, 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 you going to jail. You going to jail. And now everybody clapping that you going to jail. Right of here. Right of here. I'm not threatening nobody. Don't try to explain it. Ma'am, I apologize to you. I was trying to help him out. By giving him a last chance to confine himself to the truth. Look at her. She can't even look he at the judge, bro. That's embarrassed. That's embarrassed and hurt on her face. Don't nobody. I don't care what your son did. Your son can do the worst in the world. We don't never regret our kids or never. But you can be embarrassed to the T that you don't even want to talk to this motherfucker.
but some days. That's how she feel right now. controversy. Now he needs to clean himself up. Can't believe this mess, man. Anyway, next video coming tomorrow. I told y'all we're gonna keep it. I'm out of here, bro. DJ Ghost 100. Yeah. Bayo Flex, X Tessa. Brand new Rory, Smith and Wesson.